Hey, Sagittarius. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition, and I am here to do a love reading for you all. I guess we can say for the first half of August. You know, like a mid, I wouldn't say a, no, it's not the mid month, but you know, this will be from now until the, you know, middle of August. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, also Venus. Do keep in mind that this is a general and only take what resonates. If I resonate with you all, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll follow. Hit that bell. If you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. That is the only way you guys can book with me, Sagittarius. All right. So let's hop into your love reading and see what's going on with you guys. There will be an extended reading. I will pin the link in the comments below. And the link will also be in the description box as well. All right, so let's see what's going on with Sag. All right, Sagittarius in love, universe. Messages for Sagittarius in love. All right, when it comes to your person and how they feel about you, we have the emperor. Their curtain, I said, I said curtain. <laughs> Sorry, Sagittarius. Maybe you guys are thinking about a curtain. Maybe you guys are going to be putting up a curtain while you're listening to this reading. Taking down a curtain. I don't know. Maybe you need to go buy curtains. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I meant to say current intentions. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. What do you want, Sagittarius? We have the Death card in reverse. What do they want? The Will of Fortune. What brings you guys together? We have the Eight of Cups. What pulls you apart? The Empress in Reverse. Energy around the relationship. Eight of Pentacles. What is hidden? The Chariot. And the potential outcome? The World in Reverse. Okay. So we got a lot of major kind of in this reading so we have aries we have libra taurus cancer sagittarius scorpio and then we have all the fixed signs all right um let's see what this overall energy is Eight of swords All right, so this there's some type of communication coming in, but let's see. Let's just for Sagittarius. I don't know, Sag. I'm not gonna say it's not gonna go anywhere, but it just has to do with an ex or somebody's ex or something like that. All right. Um, let's see what's going on. We have the emperor here for how they feel about you. Messages for Sagittarius. Let's see. Why is the emperor here for Sagittarius? Seven of Cups in reverse. Then we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So it's kind of saying like they'll be lying. They'll be lying to themselves if if they didn't think like, I mean, how do you say it? Like, because the emperor is like, you're powerful, you're in control, you can be a boss, an entrepreneur, you got your shit together, you take care of business, you can be a good mother, good father, even though it's the emperor, remember we embody both energies. The seven of cups in reverse can be kind of like, that's what I need to be doing and focusing on, like, this is somebody that I need to be with. You know, and the ace of swords is like, they'll be lying if they, they're saying that you're not all of that. But... They also been lying and I feel like it's more than you. And I feel like even though they know you are a better, like the situation between you guys is better or you're somebody that they want to be with. There is some lies and there's just some stuff going on and things that haven't been communicated or that will be communicated and you're going to find out. I feel or there's just going to be some communication between you and this person about, I feel like an ex because you have the Empress in reverse and the Death card in reverse. Um, are like somebody that you were dealing with okay but then I feel like somebody feels as if I made the wrong decision 
and I need to come back. I should go back around or go back, you know. So let's just see how it plays out. We have the Seven of Swords at the bottom overall energy. All right. So let's see. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse for their current intention. So it's not saying that they want commitment or anything. Ace of Pentacles in reverse is like they're not thinking about commitment. They're not thinking about all of that. But it's like they know. You get what I'm saying, right? Sagittarius, like, they know. Let's see how the Ace of in reverse. Queen of Swords. Somebody just had a baby. This has to do with a baby, a child, an ex. And that's why they can't commit to you. They can't commit to you because of their ex. A baby situation. Something like that. But it's like, but they know that. Like, you're showing up as the emperor. But even still, it's just like, you may have a lot to offer or give. You may be way better. The situation looks better. Like, I don't know. But they, that's why they can't commit to you. There's a baby situation or a child or, you know, they haven't fully cut off the mother or the father of their child. And that's why they can't commit to you right now. Or that's why they're not committing to you. And even though the Ace of this is your reading and we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse can be like they're working on things with this person. You know, like maybe they're not all the way to back together, but it's like they're kind of working on things. You know, they're trying to see like if if it's worth working out and it, will it go back to a relationship or a commitment or whatever they had. Like, could we go back to what we had? So... I don't know, Sagittarius, where you stand in this situation just yet. And the reason why I said that is because even though they're trying to work things out, I see them trying to, like, make them put in the effort with you. But that's why I said I don't know if it's going to lead to anything. So let's see. The death card in reverse, it could be Scorpio. This is what you want. The death card in reverse, that can be your energy. Like, maybe you, you're you having a hard time letting go. You don't want to let this go. Sagittarius, maybe you're still holding on to it and you're just like, I don't want to let this go yet. And you keep letting them come back in. Death card in reverse. Six of swords in reverse. Yeah, and I feel like you're letting them back in, Sagittarius, knowing that it's a situation. Because the six of swords is in reverse. So it's like, you know, like, if you let them back in, is it's going to be problems, trouble. It's a situation it's not going to move forward. You're going to be stuck. But it's like they're back. But it's like it's a situation. You know what I'm saying? So. Let's see. All the six of swords are reverse. It's going to you. Yeah, see, look, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. And there's a female, a male, and there's a child here. So for some of you guys, it has it's a child. There's a child involved, and that's what you're in your head about. But it's like you want to be with them, or you want them to come back, or you're allowing them to come back. But they're, they're, it's just, they're in a situation. It's a situation shit. And I feel like if you let them back in right now or if they come back, I just don't feel like anything's going to really change. All right, Sagittarius. So let's see why the Wheel of Fortune is here. This is what they want. Onto the Wheel of Fortune. Six of Cups in reverse. Maybe they do really want to, you know, focus on new love and go towards you and have something with you because the six of cups in reverse with the will of fortune is moving on from a past like it's like not really moving on from the past but it's like there's somebody that they were with and i that could just not be working out anymore so like they're focusing on moving forward and going towards something you know new or going towards someone new But then when I look at this energy, it's like, no. Let me see, Sag. Maybe they're in, maybe they're confused. That's what it sounds like. Go on to the Six of Cups in reverse. Mm. 
the fool. Yeah, see, they want to, they really do want a new beginning and they do want to walk away. But it's going to take some time before they do that. Maybe they feel like they need to be there for their ex or be there for this person because we have the seven of pentacles here. So maybe they feel like that's where they need to be. They need to be with that person. And they've been doing a lot of thinking and contemplating and all that. But maybe they feel like they need to be with that person or figure out that situation or just be there for right now. Why is the eight of cups here? And this is what brings you together. Not of wands. So I feel like you guys have this on and off relationship and that's at times what brings you guys together or when they walk away from this person, they come towards you and then you guys are together. You guys have this relationship, but then we have the four of swords and you guys like kind of like, you know, they kind of fall back and then they don't really reach out. They go silent. Going to the night of wands. This can also just be your energy, Sagittarius, and you wanted them to like come towards you and leave them, leave whoever they're with or dealing with. And you're hoping that they'll walk away from this person to be with you and it'll bring you guys together. Nine of Cups. That's what somebody wants. Page of Wands. Somebody's waiting to hear that. So Page of Wands is like hearing good news or hearing messages or it's like something you want to hear. So it's like you've been waiting to hear that. That's what you want to hear. That's what you're expecting to hear. But I don't feel like they're going to walk away right now. I honestly feel, Sagittarius, that they're going to be in both situations. Because I feel like they know that you'll let them come back towards them because it's something that you want or like because you want to be with them. But then they're still not sure about the other situation unless you guys just cut off like letting them come back around but the death card is in reverse and that's usually like i said like having a hard time letting someone go letting the ex go or just like just you can't seem to get over it just yet like it hasn't to you it hasn't ended it it's not over so let's go on to the empress in reverse for what pulls you apart the empress can be a taurus or a libra that is in between you guys but let's see why is the empress in reverse yeah see this is this must be the mother our father of their child because we have the three of wands this is who they're moving forward with communicating with talking to right now saturn's there we have the king of wands here so that's who they're being intimate with you know they're pursuing that person taking action kind of focus on that person right now with the king of wands energy so that's where they're at that's where they're showing up so whoever you guys are dealing with sagittarius like that's what's pulling you guys apart is the fact that they are involved with this person still even though the empress is in reverse. Even though they may not want to be with this person. See, you guys feel rejected because maybe this person has, you know, expressed some type of feelings towards you. And you're just like, well, if you love me, you know, you'll end things. You know, why do I have to wait? Why do you have me feeling like this? So you feel, you feel rejected. And some of you guys kind of know this situation. You don't like the fact that they're with them, around them, you know, so. And I feel like you know for some of you guys out there that this is what is going on. And if you're showing up as the emperor, Sagittarius, or if this is how this person looks at you, then it's kind of like the emperor doesn't move like that. Because the emperor is not going to sit and wait for nobody. The emperor is in control. So I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to throw that out. All right, let's see why the Eight of Pentacles is here for their, the energy around the relationship. Eight of Pentacles can tell me this is something that you want to work on. Maybe they're going to make them put the effort into having a relationship. This is something that I feel like you want to work on. The Queen of Wands, you want to make them put effort into this or this is something that you want. And then we have the Eight of Cups. So walking away energy again. So maybe they recently just walked away or you recently just walked away. But regardless of whoever just walked away, it's just like this is still something that you want and want to work on. Why is the Eight of Cups here? King of Pentacles. Yeah, so it's telling me you want them to, again, like I said up here, walk away from their situation or walk away from whoever they're with. And you want to work on this. Like you want to have a relationship with them. The King of Pentacles is here. Some of you guys are going to find out that you're pregnant by this person. The empress is pregnant. 
okay let's see why the chariot is here it could be a cancer involved but let's see what's hidden why is the chariot here the two of wands four of swords the emperor three of cups I feel like there is nothing hidden I feel like you already know what's going on I feel like you already know the situation I feel like Sagittarius you're waiting for them to make a decision or you're like waiting for them to return and come back to you or you're like hoping that they're going to walk like I said walk away and come back and you know return to you there could be some separation between you guys or you guys are in separation or, you know, maybe just like weren't talking for a little while. And there could be, you know, you guys could be reconnecting again soon or seeing each other again. But I really feel, Sagittarius, that you want to move a relationship forward with somebody that is not sure if they want to move it forward with you all together. And I'm not saying it in a way to where I don't feel like this person does not like you or want you. But they are they are heavily entertaining this other situation. And that has their attention. The King of Wands is there. So... I don't know, Sage. We have the Two of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Wands, and then we have the Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there's chemistry, passion. Like I said, you know about the situation, but we have the Four of Wands in reverse. It's, there's nothing, there's no security, stability, there's no foundation here. On to the World Card in reverse. This is a potential outcome. I'm not taking that. Let me see. Why is the World Card in reverse? We have the chariot. So move forward for now. Move on for right now, Sagittarius. The chariot is here. We have the world card reverse. I feel like there's unfinished business, yes. But I feel like if you stay in this energy or keep doing what you're doing with them, it's just going to be a repeated cycle. And then we have the devil here, Capricorn energy. There could be a Capricorn involved. For some of you guys, there's some lesson that you're learning. We have a judgment in reverse. Or you're going to like realize, like, dang, like, I should have knew better. I shouldn't have did this. Something like that. But this looks like some type of repeated cycle. Okay. Let's pull your romance angels. Messages for Sagittarius. All right. Let's see. We have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So maybe somebody is about to decide what they want or somebody needs to make a decision or you will. We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So I feel like Sagittarius, you are very torn because I feel like even if you do make a decision um, to walk away or whatever you may decide to do, it's like you're still keeping an open mind because you just feel like this feels different. You feel like this is your soulmate. This feels right. But it's saying also that you need to clearly decide what you want. Like, what are you going to do? What do you want? Let's see, Sagittarius. Or maybe they do. We have attraction. So I feel like there's a lot of attraction here. I feel like you guys are attracted to each other. Um, and then we have trust. Trust is here. So it says this situation is calling for you to have faith. And I feel like maybe that is why you haven't let go. Because you just have trust and faith that this is going to move forward or you're tr hoping and trusting that this is something that's going to move forward we do have healing family issues okay so just looking at that and them not committing to you because of their ex or that's what's stopping and blocking you guys from being together and then we have healing family issues i really feel like it's more to the story it's more to the story maybe they don't want to like their kid like maybe they don't want to like I don't know maybe they feel like if they're not around they won't be in their kids life or it could be a lot of different things but they're healing from their family issues and things that they experienced or went through and maybe they're trying not to be like their 
their parents, their mother, their father, or whoever raised them. So they feel like they're trying to do the right thing by staying, and that's why they can't commit to you. It can be a lot of different reasons or things, okay? But let's pull some love oracles. Let's see from, from them to you and how they feel. Let's see. From them to Sagittarius. We have intimacy. Do not shame your wants and desires. So I feel like the intimacy is there between you guys. And I feel like you're somebody that they want and desire. Let's see. One more message for from them to you. We have lessons. You are about to relearn a lesson from your past. So like I said, you guys are, it's a repeated cycle. And there's some type of lesson here. But I also feel like they're going to go back to whoever they're with. As we see they did. And they're they're relearning a lesson there, okay? And maybe I can't say like, oh, they needed to go back to blah blah blah. I'm not even gonna say that. But they're the universe has you know aligned it to go that way, so there must be a reason why. But they're learning a lesson. I feel in both situations. But I feel like they're going to also come back with an apology, too. Going to the lessons. Yeah, and it has to also do with, like, I told you before, like, they looked at you as the emperor. The emperor's in control. And the queen of pentacles with the six of wands is somebody that is successful, somebody that's doing good, somebody that... Like I said, has it together. They make a good partner. They're good, a good parent. Like, all that. So, they see that and they're just like, wow. Like, I can't believe I went back to this situation and I could have healed my family issues another way. But I forced myself to be in a situation. But that probably could have been their lesson. And now they're seeing what they missed out on or, you know, what they had with you. For some of you guys, I don't want to say it's going to be a missed opportunity. We do have the Knight of Swords reverse, but maybe they're going to try to come back like right before it's too late. All right, let's see from you to them. We have stimulation. You are neglecting your body's sexual needs. So I feel like you guys haven't been intimate in a while and maybe you want to be intimate with them, Sagittarius. We need them to take care of that. Let's see. One more message from Sagittarius to their person. Who was rush in? So people will have something to say. Keep this connection connection sacred. So I feel like, you know, people may be saying stuff or have stuff to say, but maybe you feel like, you know, this is it. That they're the one or you just, you feel the way you feel. And it's just saying, take everybody out of it. All right. Or don't worry about what other people have to say or what other people think. When it comes to you guys. Alright, let me pull from my what's really going on work with it. First Sagittarius. We have love bombing. And we have text messages. So they're gonna try to love bomb you through text messages. Oh, I miss you. I need you. I want you. What's up, baby? I can't live without you. When we gonna get back together? You're my world. Da, 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 da. And I and that like the thing with love bombing is like that could be how somebody feels, but it's like it's like it's love bombing because it just may not happen or they're not acting on what they're saying or it just they're kind of like gassing you up and putting you in an energy of like you know like oh it's, you know like it's gonna happen and this this and that and then it just like they love bomb you. Let's see. Let's pull some additional messages for Sagittarius. We have one night stand, shady, and date night. Be be careful unless you are willing to, you know, if, if this unless that's what you want, okay? Because look, it's gonna have you feeling rejected. But remember back here we had something about like you wanted your needs met or something like you had haven't had sex in a while or want to have sex, whatever it said back there, Sage, um, on that card. And then we have 
text messaging, love bombing. They're going to text you, reach out. They're going to say they want to go out. You guys are going to hook up, but you're going to fight their shady because it's just only going to be a hookup. It's not you guys getting back together or them, like, coming towards you. It's just, like, it's going to be, like, a hookup. Like, you guys just hooking up. All right? So, that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. If you guys would like to book a personal reading, fireintuition.com. All right? Bye, Sag.